So we'd mentioned earlier about how to drop shot and keep the ball in front of you so that you could cover the court. Well, it's a little different tactic in doubles than it is in singles. In doubles, if I drop shot in front of me, the person's there. So what I've done is use the target trainer simulating where my opponent would be. And from your angle, from the camera view like that, you're back on the baseline. So I know that deep balls cause rallies. If I hit the ball deep to you, you're going to rally back to me. I know short balls win points. So I know that my drop shot now should be a short ball that bounces twice inside the court. I'm in my deuce court coming in. The ball's inside my service court area, especially for doubles. Singles, I can drop shot a little bit further back. Doubles, I, I'm usually closer in when I hit the drop shot. So I'm in closer inside my service court going for the short angle ball. So it's on my forehand and my backhand. I move through the shot going for the short angle ball and follow it up because when they run the ball down, I can guarantee it's going to be an angle. Why is that? Because my partner's standing in front of them. So the only option they have is short angle back. So I move in and I wait for the high ball to kiss it goodbye. So strategy for doubles, a little different than singles, more of a cross court drop shot. And it's done when the opponent is deep in the court back where you are and the other opponent's up here with no time to react because I might go down the line with a driving shot but I trick him instead with a drop shot going short, close in tight. How do you practice this? You saw it. Put a target out, have someone feed you the ball, toss the ball up by yourself, two bounces inside the service court, and you'll own the drop shot.